Okay, this is going to be a quick video to show you guys how to clear configuration problems when you update a map from uh, 126, 127, 128 into the 1.129, the newest software that's out. Um, as you can see, we have a flashing configuration problems detected warning. When you double click on that, you will, you will see we have two different types of warnings. Now, you can obviously click help and it will show you how to clear the warnings. Um, and there's different, there's different methods to clear each one, but I'm going to use the short video to explain how to do it. Um, so, analog class used on two inputs. So, this is saying external wastegate pressure is used on two or more inputs. So, analog 13 and on track mod AIN 5. Um, this is a, a sport ECU configuration and it doesn't have analog 13. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to a pro. First thing we're going to do. And you do this offline. Don't be connected to your motorcycle or car or boat or whatever when you do this. So now that we're changing it to a pro, we'll go to our inputs, we'll go to analog 13 and we'll just disable that input. And that's how that's done. Now we had a second error that was a track mod input, but since I cleared the conflict of having two inputs on the same channel, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the other one too. So to do that, you go to CAN, CAN settings, track module, and go ahead and install it. And then you will go down to your inputs and you will see their track mod inputs down here now in the input section. So when you click on that, on all of these, click not used. See there's our wastegate sensor that was in conflict. This is a this is an all motor nitrous bike. So he doesn't have an external wastegate pressure sensor. So we'll turn all of them off. That will get rid of all of our track mod conflicts. Then we come in here and we turn our can device off we change this back to a sport and we whoops oh sorry we have one more error uh, output function boost control solenoid is not available on this ECU ignition output 7 a sport only has um, six ignition outputs so what we do is we change this back to a pro I'm sorry I should have done this Back to a pro, outputs, output config, go down to ignition seven, and disable that. So we're gonna disable ignition output seven. It was, it was selected, we'll disable that, click okay. Check anything else here. Um, that's all we need there. And we come up here, change this back to a sport. And now all of our warnings are gone. Thanks for choosing Max ECU.